Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I take cars like this Nissan Frontier and turn them electric. So we got some more updates this week on the Frontier. Unfortunately, no driving video. Uh, I really wanted to drive it, but last week, just busy with all sorts of stuff. Um, didn't get around to it. We did, however, get a bunch of stuff done. Also, I wanted to apologize real quick. Uh, no video last weekend. I tried to get an interview up with me and Dave, the owner, um, but the GoPro halfway through like corrupted the footage somehow. Um, it all went black. Like all you could see was the light in the back. Everything else was just completely dark. So I updated the software on the GoPro. Hopefully it doesn't happen again, but we're gonna redo that interview for you guys. But here's some updates on the truck. We got the seat back and we got some new wheels and tires on the truck. So those are like two huge milestones. So Dave went with some 16 inch alloy wheels with some Continental um, Eco Plus tires, they call them, which is uh, supposedly their low rolling resistance technology. So these are uh, great for EVs and they're a uh, perfect size for this truck. It's a little bit taller than those other wheels and tires we had on before. And they just look great the way that they pop with the silver and black of the rest of the truck. And we got the seat back. So we got this from Rich, the upholsterer and it's super cool. It's like, you know, brand new fabric, uh, all just really nicely stitched, just awesome seat. Um, so we'll get that thrown in the truck. Uh, these are the original headrests and they're just slightly off, but that's okay. So we'll get the, that put in this truck. Also, we went to the junkyard, we went to the U pull and pay, and we got some parts. We pulled parts off of probably four different Nissan Frontiers at the pull and pay. And one of the things we got was this cool carpet. So we got the uh, carpet for the rear of the cab and this nice trim piece. We didn't have that before. So we got that put in there. And we also got the spare tire and a spare tire hanger that was missing. So we've got the nice spare. We got the wheel and um, a good tire. It's exactly the same size as these tires. And uh, we got the, it's also a factory spare from my 2003, I think, Frontier. And we got the hanger so that, and the tool to unwind it so that this is all back to factory um, spare tire. Also, you might've noticed some updates. We no longer have a jack handle holding the bed up. Uh, we have these cool pneumatic struts. The problem is uh, I got some that are too strong, so you can't actually close the bed with these right now. You can when there's one, but it puts too much strain on the um, mounting points. So I've already ordered some replacements that we're gonna exchange for these, uh, some lighter weight ones, and then we'll be able to just open and close the bed at will. And we got these nice um, heavy duty toggle latches that clamp, that lock in and have a safety latch. And uh, that's what will keep the bed planted down when you're cruising down the road. So some huge updates. Of course, the wheels and tires, man, every time I look at them, they just look so cool. And you can also see in there is a brand new brake drum. So we're doing a full brake job on this bad boy. Uh, we got the rear brakes already done, but the front brakes um, haven't done yet. You actually have to repack the front wheel bearings to do the brakes, which is similar to how it is on my Land Cruiser. I didn't expect that on the little Nissan. So we're gonna do the front brakes too. On the driver's side, the caliper was sticking. Um, so when we got the brake all going and we were pushing it back and forth in the shop and using the brakes, that caliper was sticking and locking up. Um, and it's done it a few times now, it's not freeing up. So we just got all new parts. We got remand uh, calipers. We're just gonna do both right and left. We got new rotors. We got some nice ceramic brake pads. Um, so we're going to do the front brakes all brand new hardware and we'll bleed the whole system with all new brake fluid. So that is going to be awesome. We'll have fully refurbished brakes on the little Frontier. So it'll go and it'll stop just like hell. And now with these tires, it should take the corners pretty good too. So that's kind of the updates this week. We did make an appointment with the DMV in about a week and a half to get this inspected and marked as an EV in the computer. And then we're gonna get some license plates for it so we can drive it around on the street. Uh, so expect that to happen in the next couple weeks uh, because we need to get some license plates on it so we can go test drive it. We're just about at that point. I've been stalling out on 
uh, the heater wiring in the cab just because I have to bend over and it's annoying and I don't like it. So I've been doing other things, but once I get that cab heater hooked up, then we'll put the seat in, we'll get the carpet in, we'll get it all buttoned up and then hopefully we'll take it for a test drive, probably just around the little warehouse area right here. Um, but then we'll go get it licensed and then we'll take it on a bigger test drive and we'll do all sorts of things, acceleration tests, range tests, anything you can name. And before I sign off, be sure to write a question if you have any questions for Dave. We didn't get the interview done, so we're going to redo it. So ask any questions. There's still time to get your questions in. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.